you by Hey now, Brandon Coster is heading to southern Alberta to hunt mule deer with his two brothers. It, it gets a little emotional at times, but that's one of the aspects that makes hunting with family and friends so wonderful. Good morning and welcome to the boneyard. Hi, Brando. How are you? That's nice. <coughs> Good morning. Welcome to the boneyard. It's Brando here with Brother Zach on the cam. We're headed down to southern Alberta for a giant mule deer hunt. Gonna meet up with our other brother Aaron down there. He's gonna guide us to a giant muley he claims. So hopefully that works out good. We're just uh, peeling out of the north country here. We got a long, about a six hour hike down to uh, Aaron's house to stay with his family and put us up for the week. And I'll leave it here in a foggy, rainy kind of morning. Hopefully it's not too icy, but I'm gonna hit the road and get down there and uh, chase the mule deer around. So stay tuned. Big buck action, big muley buck action right here on the boneyard. six hours and we're already looking at some nice bucks. Well here we are out and about seeing deer all over the place trying to pick out the one we like and there's just uh, hundreds of deer here it's an amazing place to come and, and hunt mule deer. Pretty fortunate to have a draw for this area this year and there's got to be 150 deer behind us and some real beauties that went over the hill behind us. Some are missing we're getting pretty picky there's a Miss some points here or there, not quite big enough forks, but hope it doesn't come to bite us in the butt, but there's some real beauties out here. Just love this southern Alberta mule deer hunting. It's awesome. What do you think that big guy is? For score? Distance. Distance? Uh, 500? 468. Big muleys dropping down in some river bottoms. Seen some, uh, seen a nice buck up on the hill up here this morning. We got a hot tip to check out the river bottoms here on the on the coulee and the hot part here. So we'll go take a look and see if we can find a big one.
This segment is brought to you by Cam Clark Ford, located on the west side of Gasoline Alley, Red Deer, Alberta. We got major buck action, but the wind is really freaking blowing. So our sound's gonna be screwy, but we're uh, gonna get, get a look at some of these. Well, we're back in the truck here. Uh, we just looked at three real nice bucks. By my standards, they were all beautiful. Uh, my brother talked us into uh, continuing our search a little bit. We'll kind of keep these ones as an ace in the hole. Uh, it's hard to walk away from these ones, but they're uh, they're nice bucks. But they're we're not convinced they're the best ones in the group, so. Gonna go look at some more. I don't know, it's a tough call. Do you take the the giant deep forked four by four, but he's narrow? Do you take the cool looking wide shorter tined five by five? Or do you take the classic nice, you know, average four by four with pretty well everything going for him? So there's three very different bucks, but all very beautiful too. So this is gonna be a tough call. It's exciting as hell, but it's a tough one to pick. And we can't talk to the camera very well because it's blowing at 70 kilometers an hour outside. So, And the shot's going to be a little tricky too because it's uh, blowing us around. But sorry for the shaky video and maybe the shaky gunning, but we'll uh, hopefully get one down here. Stay tuned for more mule deer action on the Boneyard. That was cool. We uh, we had a real nice five by five there, and it was all I could do not to shoot that one. He's just beautiful, but and I just love the frame. But Aaron says there's bigger ones here, and I know there's a bigger one just up the end of this field. But that's a nice buck, really nice buck, really nice buck. Baba buoy. So, I guess we're gonna keep sneaking and try to get on another one, but that was 189 yards. That was pretty, as good as it gets, but my guide assures me we're gonna get a bigger one, bigger, better one on with better camera too. So we'll see. But the Boneyard boys may hate me for that one, but we'll keep, uh, keep gutting her out here. Baba Booey. Dum da dum dum. Gigantic turd. Grandma needs a new set of snow tires. <laughs> Well, 
that's the end of that stock. We uh, we tried to uh, keep moving in on the bigger buck that we thought was better, and we never found him. We oh, are. I'm sorry. Hold on. <laughs> Hi, I'm Laurel, and you're watching The Boneyard. It's just staring us down. We got a nice buck just over here on the hill. A little weak on the one front, but he's a pretty nice buck. We're gonna make a stalk in here and see if we can uh, get close to him. Rutting hard out here and a real nice deer, so we're gonna go check him out. Yeah, he's got a good frame. He's beautiful, dear. Good fourth. Just too bad he doesn't have that farting fourth point. Fight him. Fight him. Fight him. Seeing some nice bucks here, but just can't uh, find them where we got permission and the ones we can get on are stinking, uh, stinking missing points or something's wrong with them. We got a really nice typical, really nice typical four right here and a really nice five by four in the back up here. But uh, we uh, haven't got a hold of the homeowner today. So we're not going to go until we do. So I think that's uh, the end of this one, but... Well, we found our buck. We thought he uh, blew out on us and went across the, the road over here. And we were feeling pretty blue. But uh, he's a different buck that ran across. And the good one's still with the does where we want him to be. So we're, uh, we're going to try to make a stock right now on him in this crazy windstorm and get a shot of help. It's a nice buck down here, real big one. Getting jacked up. I might have to poop. <laughs> Buck is just bedding, is bedded there sleeping. He's got a big hair and a doze around him. That are uh, keeping a watch for him. But they've all pretty well bedded too and they're mellowed out. There was another truck hunter on the road over to the east of us. He kind of distracted him while we got in, so thanks to him. And now we wait. He, uh, he stands up and uh, goes for a stretch or chases a doe. We got him. When he stops. Matt. Okay, don't you? Don't you? Yeah.
He's gonna bed down. Oh, he bed down. There we go. That's better. This segment is brought to you by Cam Clark Ford. Located on the west side of Gasoline Alley, Red Deer, Alberta. I hit him. You on him, Zach? That's right, he's gonna go down. I'm gonna take him again. That's right. 380. Okay. Just wait. Yeah. That wind's a bitch. Ready, boys? Just wait. 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 That, if you hit one of those bows, just wait. What the f is he hit? But he's still standing there. Okay, just wait. I'm gonna. I don't know. 380's not right. When that bill clears, okay? Get up, pups. He's toast. Holy moly. That's a tough view. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Thank you for the camera work, man. That was a long lay down. Look at his horn sticking up. I know. That's cool. That's cool. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. That was awesome. Thank you, my brother Aaron, my brother Zach. 113. So we've been sitting here for two. We sat I two 10 30, 11 30, 12 30, two and a half hours. Nothing. Two hours is nothing. <laughs> Southern Alberta. Ah, been down here for three long days. We've looked at hundreds of deer. Uh, my two brothers were with me. It was awesome. Helped me out with this guy. We're gonna have some work getting him out of here too. But this is a great big, great big old muley. Huge deer for me anyway. For our area, this heavy, massive bugger. Good brows. Awesome forks. Get in here, boys. <laughs> Thank you, boys. Thank you, Aaron. That was awesome for putting me up, Zach, for videoing. Thanks, buddy. You did great. Thanks to the homeowners, especially for letting us enjoy their 
they're land and chase these big critters around. Re met some great people here this week while we we're hunting and uh, very gracious and let us go chase deer around. And, I mean, I can't say thanks enough to them. That was pretty awesome, man. I've had a blast down here hanging out with you guys, chasing meal deer. This is fun. We've looked at a lot of deer. We decided this one was the one. I'm sure glad we did. He's a beaut. Yeah. He's, a, he's a stud. Congratulations, Brandon. I didn't see any crying, but there's always next time. To get such a great mule deer here in Alberta and to do it with your brothers beside you is pretty awesome, man. Congratulations again. Thank you, Aaron. That was awesome for putting me up, Zach, for videoing. Thanks, buddy. You did great. Thanks for watching, everybody. From Calvin and myself, peace and love, peace and love. Nice buck down here, real big one. Getting jacked up. I might have to poop. <laughs>